feel like I'm grim holding on for grim life. I've been in much worse seas than this. It is smooth or slight then. <laughs> it's not smooth or slight. <laughs> and I know I've been in much worse. We're not even on a major angle. We're only about five or seven. Oh, for some reason. I'm just not feeling the love. <laughs> You're not relaxed. I'm not relaxed. I'm just... It's mainly because you have plans. <laughs> the plans have gone up in smoke, as always, <laughs> on Salty Labs. So we're making another plan. And at least we're sailing, so I'll say that for the plan. At least but, we're going across these big rollers. But we're going and we're going across the rollers rather than slamming into the rollers. We are physically sailing, which is good. But it's just I'm not into the relaxed part of the sail. It's just one of those. But anyway, it looks like we're going for Anglesey now all of a sudden. Hey! <laughs> Wanted to go Liverpool? Anglesey is the game! I suspect we'll never see Anglesey, we're just going that way to moderate the waves. <gasps> yeah, we'll we'll make changes and they'll change the plans and Again. Again. Oh days. We have a visitor aboard, um, a pigeon, a racing pigeon I think. She's got rings on her legs so um, with numbers on them so she's been ringed but um, I don't know what she's doing 20 miles out to sea but I think she's just absolutely exhausted and she's just under the spray hood and taking it easy and we're just going to leave her alone. They do have a nasty habit of pooping everywhere but we'll clean it up, it's not a big deal. Time for eviction, Bev. Yes, it's time for our guests to leave. So. I think the bird, the pigeon wants to stay. <laughs> no, 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 I know. Well, I'm telephotoing it away. Okay, you do that. You're all up there now. <laughs> <sighs> well, this is where we've ended up with uh, on one of the um, boys. At Menai, and I have to tell you, it is huge, but there you go. Got a family over there arguing about who's going on the banana boat. And this is where we are. <sighs> I have to say, after a gruelling day, I am quite glad to be in safe, secure, oh, 
and more importantly, somewhere I can have a rest. You can tell that Beverly has beaten me to it because she's having the rest now. <laughs> well, it's been a long day. 17 hours we've been on the go. And um, we're finally here. Um, tired crew made mistakes and Mr. Swifty had a mishap. Um, we recovered him, but so he just screws have pulled out, so it's no big deal. But, you know, just rookie error. And that's because we were tired and you we were tired, we weren't quite thinking as clearly as we should have done. We just saw the mirroring ball pose, we went, oh mirroring ball, let's go. And off <laughs> we went and we didn't stop to think about the direction of the tide and the boat just swept past and Mr. Swifty just pulled apart. <laughs> but he's quite tough and he's gonna be put back together again later tonight. So it's time for a rest. Time for a cup of tea and a bloody good rest. I can't say that one, I think I'll have to beat that. <laughs> I'm gonna put the kettle on. At least I can sit out here and not feel, oh my God, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> and that's all I have to say. Are you tired? That was knackering. We know there's no diesel bug in the fuel tank. And we know that because I think we're about that far above the bottom of the tank. That's our gauge in the off position. And this is our gauge in the on position. The fuel gauge reads empty. We tacked down Queen's Channel against two or three knots of current all the way. Commercial shipping coming left, right and centre. Mersey VTS, bless them, were really nice about it and I think I'll radio them and just say thank you for being so nice to us. But we made our mooring boy, which has got an absolutely beautiful collection of muscles on it. So if you're into that sort of thing, there's plenty here at uh, Tar Cardinal Moorings. Right now, I think I'm just going to drop dead. Just throw my coat over the top and leave me alone. Good night. We came down the Mersey um, yesterday, I have to say, we came down that and we tacked and tacked and tacked because we were on vapour on the diesel and um, we did get in but there was one scary bit where <laughs> we just thought like we've done a little wiggle <laughs> on track <laughs> going over the same place but uh, in the end we put the engine on and we just hoped to goodness that we had enough fuel so what we're going to do is we're going to drop the um, dinghy in a minute and we're going to go and get some diesel but we are not moving anywhere until this whopping great big boat goes past us because the, the wake on these moorings is something ridiculous Beverly and I were uh, thrown out of our beds at four o'clock this morning because <laughs> somebody went past us, no consideration for the boats or anything, and they just zoomed past and was like, whoa, <laughs> what was that? Well, we nearly fell out of our bunks and if we hadn't had the cupboards closed over, everything would have fell out of the cupboards. Oh, it was ridiculous. Um, but um, that's what the moorings are like here um, on the River Mersey, but at least they're here. So that um, if you were like us and too late for the lock gate, uh, you could at least go somewhere which is safe or at least relatively safe. 
Well, uh, I'm not too sure if you can see Salty Lass over my shoulder. Uh, she's there. I've washed up in this giant beach along with Salty Sausage and I'm waiting for Gaynor. She's walked all the way up there uh, to catch a cab to the nearest petrol station so she can get some diesel. Um, we need to go down the Mersey to the uh, lock. It's not very far, but at some point we're going to have to stem the tide in the Mersey and I just want to make sure that the engine does not run out of diesel. Remember, it's not level out there, you're getting kicked around, so we need diesel in the bottom of the tank. See how it goes. In the meantime, I'll just sit here on the beach and draw us pictures in the sand. Salty lass is in shambles yet again. We've got ropes everywhere because it's been a busy couple of hours already because we've taken down the sails because in a few minutes, uh, after tea break of course, um, we're going to go into the slings and we're going to be lifted. Never a happy time for any boat owner. No, I really don't like it when she's, she likes to be in the water. But um, we've got a few boat jobs to do, one of which is try and get a depth gauge, but we'll get that sorted. Um, we've got lots of other things like sea cocks. We did the underwater sea cocks last time we were in the yard, but now we want to do above water sea cocks. In we also want to do the engine sea cock. So there's loads of jobs that we just want to do. Um, can, but, you, can you move this along a bit? My chocolate's melting and my coffee's cooling. Okay, fair enough. Well, anyway, Bev's having a coffee. And, um, yep, yeah, it's yet again a new adventure on Salty Lass as we go on the hard. Oh, yeah. 